Hello, Smiler here with this thing, the Gigabyte GA990FXA UD3 version of this motherboard. So if you want the drivers for it and you don't have the disc, you just uh, basically copy its name and then you uh, go over to Google, you enter it, and then you go over here and uh, you just figure out, okay, so it's made by Gigabyte, so here's the Gigabyte site right there, so you click on that one. It'll have the site in the description for you. Uh, you go over to support, you go over to downloads, and then uh, your operating system. I'm guessing it's going to be Windows 10, but of course you can go throughout whatever you have, Windows 8.1 or whatever. Notice that there's no Mac here. I don't know what's about that. Oh well. So you go to Windows 10, which is what I have, and then you go to uh, the driver list. Okay, so you got the audio driver, the LAN driver, SATA RAID, the BIOS, the flashing in case you need that, and then the utility. Wait, where's the... Okay, what about Windows 8 then? Oh, okay. So if you want to download the chipset, I guess I would want the... Wait, would it be... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's just how it does it now. If you want the chipset, you got to do Windows 8.1, and then you got to get the chipset right here. So that's interesting. It's not in the Windows 10 part, but that's, that's definitely nice to know. It should still work. More than likely. Try it. Figure it out. And uh, that's basically how you do that. You just uh, you click on... Okay, I'm from America, so you just click this download button right here under the download section. You download it. You hit America. It downloads. Uh, it's going to take one minute, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Okay, now that's finally downloaded. Uh, I'm using Chrome, so I just click it probably it might ask me to extract it all yep so you extract it and then you just uh, run the exe file inside of it and then it'll install it for you this isn't this motherboard that i have inside this computer so i'm not going to do that so good luck to everyone who has this motherboard you're not going to need it because it's a pretty solid motherboard okay goodbye